We're going to be leaving the house right now again. Uh, this is a pretty crappy storm. I'm without power. Uh, a lot of people are without power. I think it's going to be a while too. All the trees are bending right over. If we get down the road, I'll take some more shots. Just want to show all them birches are bending over. It's going to be a mess out here. We're now cutting down some of the trees. Some of them I can't touch because they're on power lines or they got power lines under them. Uh, but I figured I'd take a shot. I just want to take a shot of these. These are hanging right on the power lines. And we got these all over the place. But I got it, I cut enough this morning to sneak underneath it uh, to plow. But there'll be more. Probably beat them all before I can do a final cleanup. But. even get out of town uh, my side of town right now because it's uh, two or three trees down on the line this is kind of what this crap show looks like I don't know if the camera showing it well but down through here this morning the first time I plowed there's still a lot hanging on the road but you can see this truck's been stuck here all morning that's one of my neighbors down there uh, I tried pulling that truck out this morning. He's right on the oil pan, so they're trying to get a ramp truck out here to lift it. I gave it a pretty good tug this morning and uh, didn't even move an inch. And then uh, I'm the one that looked at it and I said, hey, I think you're right on your oil pan. This stuff's heavy, it's like concrete. At the last two storms, uh, another thing I want to mention during this video is this this was bare ground yesterday again. It had melted off. Um, just aggravating. It's been melted off, dried out like three times this year. One of the times we went a few weeks without like uh, nothing but rain. Um, this stuff's sticking like unbelievable.
one thing about this neighborhood uh people come out and ask if you want help real quick which is kind of cool but uh right now i just kind of want to get it so people can get out of here in an emergency or an ambulance can get in um ay, ay, ay. This ain't gonna get too far this way. I dice that up kind of small because I want to be able to just push it to the side without it slapping the side of my truck. Interesting. Um, I think this one here, I'm just going to dice those trees down and See if I can't get them pushed out of the way. I don't know. This is actually one of the town roads. Um, I gotta run out and grab some fuel, hopefully, somewhere. Good part of my town doesn't have power right now, but uh, I believe the gas station out on my corner has a generator. Still trees. They cleaned up out here. Uh, this was shut down for quite a while this morning. Welcome to New Hampshire. Hey. What a show, huh? No kidding. Like I said, this is the main town road. This big pine was laying on the power lines a few hours ago. They wouldn't let you through. I'm hoping the store at the end of this road has gas. I hope they're open. Sometimes when it snows like this and the traffic ain't heavy, he'll, sh he'll tell the girls to go home. I filled up my other truck. I didn't really pay. I put the plow on this yesterday, hoping I weren't going to need it. And then uh, the other truck, uh, I'm having an issue. I, I just didn't. I can change the plow out, but I don't really want to. But I think I think I may. A few weeks back, I don't think it fell off. I think someone stole the vent cover off my Fisher plow, and I didn't notice it for a few days. And when I noticed it, it was. Um, had already let quite a bit of water and so I think I just got a little bit of water in there I, I drained it out uh, the v-plow pumps are a little more difficult to uh, get drained out they don't have a bottom plug you got to take the pump apart and kind of it's a kind of a pain in the there's another guy off the road I believe that's someone I know Yeah, so the gas station near me doesn't have power, and I guess even with the generator, they decided to call it. So I got to run downtown, which is like seven or eight miles from my house, probably where I got to go get gas. But I figured I'd put the camera back on because I've been zigzagging around trees even on this state road, and since I put the camera on, there ain't no trees down. <laughs> uh, you can see where they had a lot of big trees down. They, cleaned up and just shoved to the side yeah here we go like I said this is a state road and you got trees we don't have the state crews we used to though because I'll tell you back in the day someone would have chainsawed that and had a loader out here already dealing with it I mean I know this is a 
kind of catastrophic storm we're having. Like right here, there was big trees that took the power lines out, I think, this morning. A lot of trees still hanging. Probably could have went quite a while longer before I had to worry about gas, but I'd, I'd rather get make sure this thing's topped off before uh, night comes. I want to know when I go out later, I'm well set. That way, if someone loses power, I've seen times where I've had to go pretty far away to get gas during a snowstorm, and I believe the uh, winds are supposed to get worse later. So I won't be surprised. Uh, I know we called about when we're gonna get our power back and they, they, they can't even give us a time. They just said there's an abundance of people. And I know south of us, there's some major cities that are, you know, 100,000 people out, I guess. So I don't believe we're priority up here in the North Country. I, I, that's a bad thing about living up here. This day keeps getting better and better. to go downtown all the way to pretty far away from my house actually to get gas and I get down there and there's one pump working so that just took me about an hour and 15 minutes cut a couple of these so they don't scratch my truck up That was the right thing to do or not, but here we are. It's gonna be dark pretty quick. I don't want to leave this where they can't get out. like this it's nice to have the weight and this plows way heavier than a normal it's a heavy-duty 
nine foot. This is a plow you normally see on an international or like an F600. But it is specced out to go on the F350. I don't think I'd want any more than this on it, but it's nice when you're doing stuff like this. Sticks out far enough from the truck too. Uh, so you ain't putting your truck in the ditch line too close. I want to try to clean this up because I don't want to be plowing this tonight um, in the dock. Because this earlier today, this car stuck all over the place and trees still hanging down. I'm going down right now to see if that other company's dump truck sitting down here and I got a funny feeling it will be because getting a tow service right now ain't the easiest thing to do. You can see the trees are still hung over everywhere. Yep, still trying not to plow him in any worse than he is. Uh, getting a tow service right now is probably ain't the easiest thing. That truck's in there. I gave it a tug this morning and it wasn't pretty. What I think I'm going to do right now is uh, go home and get my tractor and come out. And... Wow. Yeah, it's just uh, one of my neighbors is a contractor. He was down here probably for a few hours with a chainsaw clearing up a lot of this. And here we are again. It's hanging right over the road. That's interesting. This is one of the roads, too. I have elderly people on that. I mean, uh, I think what I'm gonna do is go home and grab my tractor, we'll come back out, and uh, I'm gonna see if I can just get that with the bucket to lighten up enough to go up so people can get under it for tonight. Um, I'm kinda sick of tromping through the snow tonight. I'd like to come up with some type of game plan too with the uh, road committee out here, how this is gonna work. It's gonna be a lot of, a lot of tree damage here that we gotta, deal with the ground's been so saturated from the melt off plus we've been getting downpours of rain so now the weights on these trees a couple of them uh, have literally uprooted um, stump and all that I got to deal with once the weather gets a little bit better so Try to do my good deed here, but I don't want to hit the truck neither. Yeah, that road, this is the bottom of that other road, that hillside. I think I'm gonna go home right now and uh, grab one of my tractors. And I wish I would have left the blade on it, but I'll be better off with the bucket anyway, so. See if we can get that bush to the side without making a mess.
like I said, this uh, dump truck right in front of me has been there all morning. So There's a couple other contractors that live out here with me and they're pretty good about... Uh, uh, I know the one we see on the way into that road. He's been out cutting trees for a few hours. He was hoping to get out to his shop. And I got out to the main road and there's power lines down everywhere so he ended up coming back in. But just want to show this. I'm going to be letting this warm up a bit. <laughs> All right, I want to show. I went and got home and got the tractor. Uh, it's an MX6000 I have. Uh, I'm going to try to go move some trees, but I just want to show we're in a lull there for a while. Now we're back in the crap. There's a chance we're going to get, I think, another four or five inches before this ends, but it ain't going to be good because we've already got trees bending everywhere. So I just want to try bottom road I want to try to get opened up uh, so if an ambulance has got to get in right here ain't bad but like I said these trees have bent over since we've done a cleanup I've gone out on a couple of these roads they cut trees cut the birches back so they go back up and uh, they're you know they're going right and none of the trees doing the same thing a half hour later so I've been tromping through this deep snow all day long kind of getting old too so I'm going to try to take the bucket and knock some of the weight off these hopefully they'll go back up one of my neighbors was down on this road for quite a while um, with a chainsaw cutting stuff back almost like he wasted his time. <laughs> I got a funny feeling this dump truck's going to be stuck in that ditch till tomorrow. but it's passable now I think it will be passable for most of the night there's a couple other birches that are bent but they're too far in the wood line for me to hit and I'm sick of I'm tromped through all the snow I wanted today uh, tomorrow when it stops snowing hopefully we can come down and uh, maybe deal with it better or maybe the Sun will come out and some of this stuff most of these trees aren't going back up though the ones that are really bent over uh, but like I said there one of the guys that lives out here spent probably almost three hours here with a chainsaw and left a lot of stuff I just pushed back with the tractor and this one road goes down to a Y which is two roads that people stay on and like I said I don't want to be the guy that's the reason they can't get in here with an ambulance if they have to so uh, right now we're just going to take a ride around see if there's any other issues and uh, other than that I'm going to leave this till tomorrow at this point doing this at night either because you can't see the power line but right now if there's a power line down I'd probably see it. Alright, I'm gonna go ahead and get out of here. Hey
out from ending up in a dip or something. I'm hoping this camera is catching what I'm seeing. <laughs> Right now we still have no power, um, town's got a lot of people out right now and I don't think this class 6 camper is going to be on the uh, most important <laughs> list to do, but these, there's one of these that's on a power line so I'm leaving it alone, the one after that uh, I'm going to push out of the road so they can get down in here with trucks. Um, an engineer was just out here and said there's nothing out here that's got power to it, that's what he just came out here to check and uh, they're trying to line up a tree service to come out and deal with this stuff and then the power company will come out. But um, like I said, every time I cleared the road yesterday, I cut trees yesterday from 3.30 in the morning till about 6.30 last night and that more and more just start coming down. But it's warming up good today. So the snow's just falling off everything. Some of the limbs are still cracking and falling. A lot of tops of big pine trees have you know come off. And uh, that's what this piece I'm going to be pushing out of the road is, but I just figured we'd get the camera back on. I've been out working, but I forgot the camera the first time, so I'm just, I want to open this up and up to get, so they can get in here with the tree trucks, basically. got all the way to the end of this road so the power company can get down here with their trucks. It started raining this morning. It really condensed this snow down. During the heart of this storm, I'd say we had pretty close to two feet. And uh, pretty much rained all morning, condensed it down to probably eight or ten inches of like pretty solid crap. I think they said my town on average ended up with 19 inches. So, well, like I said, I, once everything melts, we're going to have to come and uh, assess everything and figure out what we're going to do. It's going to be a big mess to clean up, I can tell you that much. I left a few that were still, I'm not touching anything that's on power lines. All I'm doing is getting the stuff that's uh, just so a truck can get down in here. We're gonna go check the roads. Um, things are melting off wicked today. Uh, just uh, real good. We're already down to dirt on most of the roads. Power company still hasn't been out of here, or tree truck, so still haven't got power, but I'm not gonna get much crazy of plowing because uh, Stuff's melting off pretty fast. It's supposed to be 40 all weekend, 50s and 60s next week. And there's a lot of limbs and stuff where people cut the birch trees off in these banks. So, and the road's real soft and muddy, so I think we're doing more damage than helping. Some of the trees have melted off now where they've uh, popped back up.
my plow on float and hope for the best. There's so many trees hidden in this crap right now, too. Where everybody and their brother came out here and plowed. Uh -huh. This road was closed right off till a few hours ago. That's why it didn't get plowed with all the other ones. The whole storm for two days of plowing, I'm there was a truck came in here that does driveways in here and went off into this ditch they brought this old loader out to the left of us here to get it out this morning um pretty heavy truck i tried yanking him out doing him a favor but it was he had right down on the oil pan so i told him if we keep dragging it you're probably going to do more damage i guess i weren't here to witness it but the people that were said it didn't come out too easy so i'm glad i stopped tugging on it They're claiming this is all going to be melted right off within two to three days because it's supposed to be in the 60s. I think I guess it's supposed to be in the high 40s, 50s this weekend, and then uh, Monday I think it's supposed to be in the 60s. And like I said, I think we'll be all set. I don't think I want to do much more. It's just going to make a mess. So funny, we had, it was a pretty much almost spring. I mean, it was spring. It, weather broke for two or three weeks. We didn't have any snow. Ground was clear. Then we got a little freak storm, and then we got this big storm. Um, matter of 24 hours, though, it's melted right down. It went from like 20 inches of snow to it's probably six or eight at this afternoon. Uh, melted right down to a heavy slush type stuff. It just seems weird. You look in front of me now, and the lake's all open and calm. Um, I think everybody's ready for spring. You can see the mess in front of the truck. I mean, you you got to be careful on these camp roads this time of year. You've got more mud coming off. You know, you're plowing a lot of good material off. So I feel at this point we're better off just leaving it because <clears throat> we're all the edges got real soft. So you stop pushing banks back for no reason. I believe this is all going to be melted. They're claiming even in this area of New Hampshire that this will probably be gone by Tuesday or Wednesday, completely gone. So I'm going to let it fly. That's about what's left of uh, 20 inches of snow. These storms have been big, but then it ends as rain and it gets condensed down the next morning. This is my backyard and the stream, the retention pond's over running and going across my yard to get across. And I'm not, I'm not going to plow this. This is going to melt off so quick. We're going to call this video here um just figured i'd show this uh crap show that we had this last storm i guess today the uh local facebook page for this town said there was 19 to 20 inches of snow um in yesterday's storm between basically between two days of snowing um but i'm gonna call it the camp roads that we do out here i did my parking lots this morning i didn't tape that i just taped these roads some good footage, I think, that shows how bad the tree damage was here and what we have to deal with. Kind of a weird situation. No one will ever thank thank you for doing a... Uh, they'll never say it's th just thanks for doing that, but like I'm, I'm plowing these... I get paid to plow these roads. That's my contract. Nothing to do with tree cleanup. And uh, I had a couple people seem to think that I should be out cutting up trees that were hanging on the power lines, which I won't do. There's no amount of money. Um, anybody that's got any type of training at all uh you, that and just growing up in general you're always told not to touch a power line i'm not going to go out of my way in my 50s to start yanking trees off of power lines and they're like well you're out here doing it you know we need to get a program i actually got a phone call this morning from another contractor and we need to get figured out where you get paid enough to i said i don't care what i get paid i'm not doing it the entitlement that people have now in this country is just mind-boggling to me like that uh they think they're gonna throw money at something and say, well, you go risk your life so that I can get out of here and get a coffee or whatever. What's funny is right now it's 2.23 on a Friday. Uh, there's still six major roads in this town that are completely closed from one end to the other because of power lines down. <coughs> and they're expecting me, uh, this this guy's expecting me on a class six camp road to grab, you know, not, not knowing what you're grabbing for power lines. 
Um, another thing too, you always hear the story how someone's generator back feeds a line, someone gets killed from it, or a solar power unit's back feeding and someone gets killed from it. Uh, and like I said, I'm not going to play around with power lines. That, you know, it ain't like you're going to, it ain't like in your house when you get hit with 110 or something, it kicks a breaker, especially sit, standing on wet ground. But uh, same guys, like, oh, I was out two hours this morning cutting the trees off my road. Well, I, I started my chainsaw at 3.30 in the morning yesterday, and didn't I cut my last tree at about 6 o'clock last night. Uh, didn't ask me if I was cutting trees all day long. And like I said, I, nothing to do with me. My, my plow contract's even up. My plow contract ended April 1st. I'm trying to do the right thing, but... I never used to say much, and I don't want to ruin my YouTube videos by doing it, but I'm telling you, we have a world right now, we're in trouble. Uh, these people just feel so entitled. Um, it used to be, I used to blame it on the younger age group, but just this guy's uh, about my age. You look, move out onto a class six camp road, and they talked up here for a week about the power going out. They said there's gonna be major power outages, Tomorrow is probably going to be flooding in this. I will guarantee in this development that I'm in right now, there'll be roads getting washed over by water tomorrow because when this stuff melts so quick, the ground's already saturated everywhere. The stream's running back about a half mile from where I'm at now. My yard's got a stream that runs through it that's been running even through the snowstorm. It's actually overrunning. It's overrun the retention pond and running across my backyard too, plus the stream. Um, but I think people... They're like, well, we had a mild winter. We really didn't have a mild winter. We had a different winter, but we had a lot of moisture this year. A lot of, th like, three days of rain when the ground was froze. And the little bit that it was froze, I think the ground was only frozen in this part of New Hampshire maybe for four or five weeks, and it weren't deep, but it was enough so stuff weren't absorbing. It was running off. Um, but I, I just wanted to touch on that on this video to show people. I, I don't know if someone else is running into the same problem, but um, plowing these camp roads isn't easy on your equipment neither um, I'm in this truck right now because the greater blade on my tractor I broke one of the arms in the back I, it's something that can be welded but I only had one that one stretch of road to do so I jumped in the truck and just finished it um, I didn't feel like going down and getting my loader out of the field that's all snow um, all my parking areas and in, in my field where my wood yard is I'm just gonna let melt off the next two days rather than plow it and make the mess so but again, I'm going to call this video here. Um, I thought it was a little bit interesting, you know, what happened with this storm. Hopefully you guys will feel the same. And again, if you like my content, please like and subscribe. And if you got any questions, don't be afraid to, you know, ask a question. I've had more and more people reaching out. I think it's kind of cool anyways. Uh, get to know a lot of people that way. A lot of people that are in the same trade I'm in. So, all right. Thank you for watching.